Cambridge for me, I thought it was amazing to have somewhere where you can have such an academic challenge, where you can meet people who are in a similar sort of mindset. It's okay to work hard, it's okay to sort of be yourself in a lively academic environment that's also in a beautiful city with so much extra opportunity throughout the days and the evenings. I had already done the student shadowing scheme and I'd seen what it was like to live like a Cambridge student for about two days. Cambridge offers students so much more than just work. So you've got a huge network of societies, sports societies, music, drama, theatre. Then you've got all your debating societies and politics societies. And I think for me, when I was in school, I always wanted to do more than just work. With engineers, you normally have quite a packed timetable. So you'd normally have nine o'clock lectures every single day. You'd have typically about two or three lectures a day and also a lab. I have a class 11 to 1, grab a bit of lunch, maybe another class 2 till 4. I then maybe go and train, I play a lot of cricket or rugby. My earliest lecture this year is 10 o'clock, so on my lecture day, I'll get up, I'll go to my lecture at 10, finish at 12, I'll come back. We have a cafe in college, so usually people meet there for lunch. After lunch, I'll go to the library, I'll take some books out for my latest subject. I'll maybe spend two hours reading, making some notes. The thing I've learnt from first year is doing the work as soon as you get it. If you let it pile up, it will keep on piling up. You come here, you're academically stretched, you work with the best academic minds in the business and uh, you work hard but then when you're not working hard you play even harder. There's so much going on, there's so much opportunity. You can do things that you've never been involved before, you can start up new. Clubs, societies, sports, whatever you want to do, there is somebody here who is like-minded and will also want to do it. No day's ever dull. Usually in an afternoon I'll go to the gym or I swim, train at the minute. So I'll go to the pool and I'll do a training session. So try and get that in before dinner time. And then back to the library to do some more work because you can't really get through a day without doing more than four hours work or you're in trouble. And then we have a bar in college. Usually people go there and take some time off in the evening. At about 10ish, you decide if you want to go out, like clubbing or not, depending on like if there's anything on, if it's a good night. If we do go out, then we normally get back about two or three and then go to bed and get up for 9 a.m. <laughs> I'd say probably two or three nights a week I stay in to do work. Mm, yeah, let's say two. I try and go out at least once a week and then I'm normally either busy outside of college on an evening or sort of socialising in college. Some days you'll have lectures, other days you won't. And obviously you work to essay deadlines um, that sometimes it'll be a case of that you'll have days where it's predominantly work rather than predominantly sort of leisure activities. At Cambridge, you'll find all different types of people. So even if you think you're not going to fit in, there will always be someone that you have something in common with. The collegiate system, having friends that are close, is really special. Here everything's very central. No matter what college you're in, with a bike you can get anywhere in 15 minutes. Cambridge is a challenge, there's no doubt about that, but I think that's the beauty of the place. If you want an academic test, if you want to be pushed, your academic limits but want to have an amazing time as well then give it a go the highs are unbelievable